What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about Infinite Storm. So Infinite Storm is directed by Magorza Sumowska, written by Joshua Rowland, stars Naomi Watts and Billy Howell, and is a true life story of a woman named Pam Bales who saved an individual who was up in the mountains freezing all by himself and brought him down by herself and ends up becoming a hero from the situation. When I saw the trailers for this movie and I saw the poster, I was really all in, really honestly. I genuinely am always a big fan of a survival tale, especially something based on a true life event. So when I saw that Naomi Watts was the lead actress in this film and I saw the trailer it looked like it was gonna be a really good time and I gotta say I'm pretty torn on how I feel about this film because honestly it was the worst thing a movie can be for me and that is boring there was a lot about this film that I really enjoyed on a filmmaking level but overall for me I found this film to be incredibly slow incredibly boring and I was struggling to get through it while watching it now, before I get too much further into this, I do want to praise 110% the performances. I think that both Naomi Watts and Billy Howell give a really solid performance throughout the entirety of the film. I really thoroughly enjoyed the two of them in this movie, and they're definitely what sells the movie when it does really work. On top of that, you have a fantastic use of cinematography, and they filmed in a lot of real practical locations, so there's so much beautiful scenery and nature that's captured on camera, and without a doubt, that's one of my favorite parts of this movie outside of that though this is a movie that very much relies on just kind of ambiance and this is a movie that is very subtle in its use on music there isn't very much music used through the film there's a couple of odd moments where there's actually something in there like a soundtrack and then a couple of moments of piano music but a lot of this movie is silence and it's one of those films that you know kind of fills up the noise with the actual noise that's being made by the characters them saying something them breathing them stepping on something the wind whatever the case may be so this is a film that very much relies on silence and i really like when movies do that but I gotta be honest when I say that uh, I didn't have the best theater experience which I feel did affect my overall opinion of this film so I gotta be honest with that I had a few individuals throughout the course of the theater that were making a lot of noise and since this is a film that is very silent it was very easy to be distracted and unfortunately as well uh, a few seats ahead there was a mentally handicapped individual and of course it's not their fault you know it's an involuntary situation and of course we're gonna be nothing but respectful to those individuals but you know there was a lot of of shouting and noise making throughout the course of the film and it just took me out of it I have to be completely and utterly honest so yeah I think this is a movie that maybe on rewatch I would connect with certain elements more than I did but that doesn't really disconnect the fact that I did still see the movie and I did find it to still be a pretty boring film this is a movie that honestly for me was a bit of a false advertisement situation because if you've seen the posters and if you've seen you know the title and you see uh, the trailer and everything like that it seems like it's gonna be a pretty intense you know whole movie about about this individual saving this other individual amidst this huge storm but honestly based on what you see in the trailers and stuff all of what this movie kind of is set up to be or what you think it's gonna be coming in happens in the earlier part of the film and there is a huge chunk in the last half of the film where we're just kind of focusing on these characters after the fact so there is a portion of this film that is a survival tale and something that you know I went to go see but then the last half is really just about seeing this individual played by Naomi Watts kind of just living their life and that's where we end up leading into what this movie really is all about and it's about handling grief and the individuals that handle grief in this world how various individuals do handle grief and how in this world sometimes it takes two individuals that maybe can understand each other and both are going through grief uh, to kind of touch one another and kind of change each other's lives and ultimately that's what this movie is really about and in a way I really respected that I really appreciated that I enjoyed that message but ultimately I found myself bored throughout the course of the runtime I was waiting for the movie to end and it didn't really even feel like it was coming to an end but then it just ended and it's just not my favorite biopic I gotta be completely honest uh, you know the survival element near the earlier part of the film was entertaining to watch but there was a lot about this film that just felt very slow throughout it is very much a slow burn I can see some individuals really enjoying this film depending on who you are and if you're into slower films but yeah me and the other individuals in the theater all seem to be kind of bored watching throughout there wasn't really much for me to really 
you know, bite onto when it comes to the, the actual character of Pam Bales in this film. Uh, you know, it just feels like we're seeing the events play out and then the movie just kind of feels like it ends. And ultimately, I just wasn't overly captivated by the narrative and what was going on. And even though this is a movie that has beautiful cinematography and performances, it's just one of those movies that I feel sometimes lingered too long on too many shots. And ultimately, it's silence sometimes just left me feeling like the movie didn't really have too much to do. And so it felt like they were drawing out these moments to just kind of feel a little bit artsy but ultimately for me just left me feeling bored so that's going to be my thoughts on infinite storm not a fantastic watch for me but it could have been my theatrical experience this is a movie that i think may be better to watch at home when it comes out on streaming because you can kind of control the noises around you for the most part whereas in a situation like this where you have people you know eating their popcorn and other snacks or you know people shouting in the theater and all that kind of stuff it's tough because this is such a silent film and there isn't really a lot of music or big sound effects or noises that can really drown that out while you're watching it and it did take me out of the entire experience so that's going to be my thoughts on infinite storm and i definitely can't wait to hear what you guys have to say did you see the movie did you not see the movie did you like the movie did you not like the movie definitely want to hear what you guys have to say down below please hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video comment your thoughts and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye